Hey everyone, if you're new here, my name is Melissa. I'm a homeschooling mom of three kiddos. I have a seven-year-old, a three-year-old, and a one-year-old. And today's video is in a collaboration with Cynthia from Gracefield Homemaker. This collaboration is full of wonderful homeschooling moms who are sharing what they have for Christmas read-alouds for their Christmas book list. So my book list for the very first time is a little different than normal. Usually I have all these amazing books that I've found from the library or I have around the house and all the fun things to show you guys. However, I do not have all the things to show you guys this time. If you've watched some of my previous videos, you guys know I am using the Barefoot Within the Trees Christmas Around the World Secular Christmas Unit this year for our unit study for Christmas. This unit study came packed full of amazing book lists and with a additional advent calendar book list as well. But the best part about this book list is almost all the books are sourced as a YouTube read aloud. And that took so much pressure off of me for this crazy busy holiday season as it is. Like we have so much going on between my daughter and ballet and Christmases and just all the things happening in December that happen every year between, you know, Thanksgiving and New Year. I chose not to get any of the books from the library. I didn't even look to see if my library had them because I knew that I would not have the time to physically sit there and read the books. I needed this little bit of a break this month to let my kids just have the books they need to have, but let somebody else read them to them for once. This is the book list here, and I will go ahead and put it as like a screen right here for you guys. And then I'll just read off the ones that are available as a YouTube read aloud that she has linked in the curriculum that we will be using this Christmas or this December for our read alouds. Cobweb Christmas is one that we went ahead and already have read. We read the, Tom, I think it's Tom T and the Christmas Port or Tom, Tom T Christmas Port, I believe. It is the book for um, Scandinavia. The book for Russia does not have a link and I will just skip it because I can and I'm going to this year. Maybe next year I will source it and actually read it. The Nutcracker Comes from America is part of Russia and that's part of the little Nutcracker. It does have that read a lot on YouTube so we will read that one. The Solstice Badger we will read. It is also that is for the Winter Solstice. I'm gonna probably pronounce this horribly bad but Herschel and the Hanukkah Goblins. If I'm pronouncing that wrong, I'm so sorry. But that is another one that is country, the country of Israel. Tree of Cranes is for the country of Japan. The Miracle of the First Poinsettia for Mexico. Santa's Aussie Holiday for Australia. A Kenya Christmas for Africa. Seven Spools of Thread is the Kwanzaa book. The Night Before Christmas is the optional reading for the United States. I'm assuming that that is on YouTube somewhere. I'm, it just says a favorite copy, so I'm sure I can just find one on YouTube to have my kids watch. The Chinese New Year Dragon Nina, that is for the Chinese New Year. And then of course she has these morning basket ones as well. And I will put that over here too so you guys can take a look at them while I go through them quick. The advent calendar books are completely different than the ones that are in the lesson plans and they are something you can do in addition and we have been doing them because why not? Some of them are not clickable links. Most of them are. The ones that aren't clickable links I'm just not gonna do. Oscar and the Eight Blessings is for Hanukkah. We have read that one. Well, YouTube read it to us. Christmas Trolls for Sweden, we will be doing. Gingerbread Man is for Germany. Sam and the Lucky Money is a Chinese New Year. And Orange for Frankie is for the United States. Dumpling Soup is another one that's also for the Chinese New Year. The Yule, the Yule Tom Tea and the Little Rabbits for Sweden. Together for Kwanzaa, would for Kwanzaa. Sunbread is for Winter Solstice. Katie's London Christmas is for England. It's Christmas in Noisy Village, that's another one for Sweden. The Legend of Papa Noel, a Cajun Christmas story, that's for the United States as well. Painted Skies for Scandinavia. And What's, what's Cooking Jamala for Africa? Like I said, I don't have anything physically to show you because we will be using my iPad through and just clicking through the links and letting somebody else read to my kids for the month of December, which may be cheating, but it's what I wanna do. The only other book that we are going to be doing is Reptiles. It's part of our Bookshark, Bookshark Science. So if we get through Reptiles, I will go on to the next book, but we've been going pretty slow right now through any other curriculum other than our Barefoot Through the Trees 
Christmas around the unit, world unit. And I will, of course, I'll link this unit below for you if you're interested in it. I'm sure you've seen it a few times if you've been around my channel for a little bit now. But that is what we'll be reading for this holiday season. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to check out Cynthia's channel. I will link that below. And I'll also link the playlist below so you can check out what all the other moms are doing for book lists for Christmas. If you like these kind of videos, please go ahead and like. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe because it really helps me out and I really appreciate it. I will talk to you guys next time.